Hey everybody, what up? Um, do you ever get the feeling like coding is like being in a relationship and, and sometimes maybe a toxic relationship in the sense that like when things are going really well, it, it feels like everything's great. Right. And then the times that are really bad can be really bad. And I think that it, it reminds me of a relationship because when I first, you know, when you first start out in one, there's this like honeymoon phase, this, this, um, you know, lust honeymoon phase of like mystery and intrigue and, and you're starting to have all these aha moments and learning a whole lot about the language of your choice or library, or whatever it is that you're working with. And it really like, I feel like opens up a world of possibilities, but then the longer you start doing it, the more you get into situations where you're like starting to discover things that maybe you don't like as much about it or this repetitive nature of it that um, can become somewhat stale and boring. Right. And then when that happens, we find ourselves in a situation where it's like, we're either, you know, we're headed towards like burnout or maybe we just need to switch our, our language or library. So we're constantly out there trying to, you know, change this and that in order to be a little bit more effective. And just like a relationship, there's moments that, that you discover where it's like, Hey, I can do this better or that better or communication better, or whatever it might be. Um, with coding, it's like that too, in my opinion, because, no matter where you look, there's always people doing it differently. So we see that in the real world as well with relationships where, you know, you look at some couple and you think that they have it figured out and you look at other ones and you're like, they definitely don't. And I think that is, it's like that with coding, right? So I see all these coders that are doing certain things and I'm like, Oh, maybe I'll adopt this or I'll, do I'll adopt that and, um, and try to get the results that I'm looking for. And, um, and that works for a while. Right. But then eventually you start to get into a situation where it's like, man, I don't know that I can see myself doing this for another five years. And then you're headed towards like burnout. So that's when you make a decision that like, Hey, like I'm just going to spice it up a little bit and I'm going to start using tailwind. But then you might end up looking back and having regrets like, God damn, why did I use tailwind? Right. I spent three years on a side project that didn't get anywhere. And I used all this like new technology that just wasn't necessary and added a bunch of like tech debt and relationships I think can be like that where you look back and you're like, man, I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have said that. And coding could be the same way. Then there's also the endless amount of blogs and, um, you know, just things out there that are telling you that you're doing it wrong. So if it's a blog post of like, Hey, if you're doing this, you're, you're completely jacked up and you're wasting all your time. And you should do it like this. And a lot of the people giving that advice, like aren't even doing it themselves or they're sitting in a, in a divorce attorney's office or whatever. Um, so we always have like this constant, I think, stream of, of information about like how we can do something different than what we're currently doing. Then there's also the codependency phase where it's um, a situation where you're like, man, I, I don't know that I could do this for another five years, but at the same time, I don't know that there's anything else I can do either. And I can't, I can't really see myself in either one of those positions. So uh, I think for those that have been in that situation, they know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I don't know if this is a good video, honestly. I just, uh, it, it was a quick thought. And then the more I got into it, I'm like, oh, I don't really have much to say on this except for, I guess I'll wrap it up by saying that like relationships, coding is something that's going to evolve and you're going to have to evolve and adapt and the, the times will change. The technologies will change. And for any relationship to be healthy, you do have to find ways of, of um, I feel like doing checks and balances to see what you're doing well, what you can improve on. And the longer you do it, I think the the more you'll understand that like, there's going to be times of boring. There's going to be times of uncertainty. There's going to be stressful times and there's going to be great times. And throughout my career, I could say that I've experienced all of those. And I definitely have a codependency where I don't think I can do anything besides code at this point, at least professionally for a job until I, you know, start working at Starbucks or something like that.